is question number 18 on the higher calculator paper. So reading through the question, the question says, copy and complete the table of values for y is equal to 6 over x. That means 6 divided by x. I'm going to write that at the side here. That means 6 divided by whatever x is. So they want us to copy, uh, sorry, to complete this table. Now uh, There's several values already completed. So I'm, I'm going to use my calculator for this. Right, it's not essential because a lot of these fractions you should possibly know, but I'm going to use it nonetheless. So for each of these, to work out the y value, I need to divide the x value by 6. So for the first one, this first empty space, and I'm going to start from this side. When x is 5, I'm going to do 6 divided by 5. That's 1.2. So I'm going to write that in. 1.2 Then the next one over here I'm going to do 6 divided by and x is 3 here so 6 divided by 3 gives me 2 I'm going to put 2 in there and for the final one x is 0 0.5 so I'm going to do 6 divided by 0 0.5 and that gives me 12 Okay. So the table there is complete. Remember, I followed the rule here. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You should know what this is, what it means. It means 6 divided by whatever x is, 6 divided by x. And for all of these values, the x values, if you divide by 6, you'll get this answer here. All right, that just involves taking your time. You could check some of the ones that are done already. So 6 divided by, so 6, divided by 6 gives you the 1. 6 divided by... 2 gives you the 3, 6 divided by 1 gives you the 6. So those could help you check and see your answer. Let's look at part B. Okay, in part B, you've got this graph, and then at the bottom it says, on the grid, draw the graph of y is equal to 6 over x for this range here, 0 0.5 to 6. Now that's actually set up or the graph is already set up for you you've got the x axis labeled you've got the y axis labeled and 0 0.5 to 6 that actually corresponds to the table at the top that we just filled out and we're going to use that table to plot points on the graph and then draw the curve which is what they want us to do for part b okay so looking at each of those we're going to plot each of the pairs of coordinates. So I'm going to plot like x is equal to 6, y is equal to 1, x is equal to 5, y is equal to 1.2, and so on, and plot all the points, and then join them, up, join them up with a curve. So when x is equal to 6, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 6, y is equal to 1. That's that point over there. And I'm going to put a cross there. When x is equal to 5, y is equal to 1.2. When x is equal to 5, y is 1. Point two. Now, one of the things I didn't say at the beginning, and I should have looked at it, is that on this scale here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, five tiny squares that lead up to one. So every one of those tiny squares stands for 0 0.2. And on this scale here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, exactly the same. Um, and each of those tiny squares is going to stand for exactly the same as well. So that's why this one here, when x is 5, y is 1.2. That takes me to that point there. So I'm going to quickly go through the rest. When x is 4, y is 1.5. So that's a bit more tricky. It's between two squares. There it is. When x is 3, y is 2. Got that point there. When x is 2, y is 3. Got that point there. X is 1, Y is 6. So I'm being, going to be careful with this. There. And the next one is when X is 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is, be, is there, so between those two, in that tiny square. It's all the way up to 12. So there you go. Okay. So there are all the points plotted. 
Now I need to draw a curve through all of this. And whenever I draw a curve, I actually move the paper around to try to help me draw the curve in a neat, smooth line all the way through. So I'm going to do that here. Try to get it in one straight line. Or one curve. Right, and that's pretty good. I don't need to do it much darker than that. And that's a neat, smooth curve through all the points. Okay, and that should get me full marks in this. I'm not even going to go over it, or I'm not even going to darken it. The examiners are going to be able to see that, and that's enough for me to get full marks in this question. Okay, follow this, think about it. The question is pretty straightforward. Right, it involves plotting points, it involves drawing a, a neat, smooth curve, one line. Right, don't sort of shade it through as you're going through. Right, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure you can do it, make sure you can get full marks in it.